on his felony gun charge. He pled it down to a misdemeanor and for the unauthorized possession of a firearm in a vehicle. Now, the one interesting thing is his sentencing is actually on December 29th in the court uh, in and around Washtenaw County. So hopefully that doesn't interfere with his ability to play in the CFP semifinal should Jim Harbaugh allow him to play, which I don't think there's any reason to think that he wouldn't since he played in the Big Ten championship game. So this story will not be a distraction in all intents and purposes going forward. Mozzie Smith, no longer facing a felony charge, pled down to a misdemeanor. The Michigan Football Report, folks, is presented by Manscaped. Make sure you go to manscaped.com, get 20% off, and free shipping on all of their awesome male grooming products. We've got Manscaped. We love Manscaped. We've got the Ultra Smooth Package, the Lawnmower 4.0. I use Manscaped, the shampoo, the conditioner, uh, everything they have at manscaped.com. Promo code GOBLUE, 20% off and free shipping. All right, let's get some Go Blues in the comments and in the live chat. If you are a Michigan football fan and you're not a hater or a loser, of which there are many, um, and we've seen some uh, we've seen some haters in the comments, Jack, recently uh, in the live chat, especially. So not allowing any of the haters. Uh, so let's see who is repping Michigan football on today's show. Give me a go blue. I'll give a couple shout outs. Some Jeff Rua, my guy, Jeff. Good to see you on the show. Mark Shank, Tim K. Um, I don't know what that comment's about. Wayne, Stephen, Iceman Comp, Otis, John, and Mister Bojang eighty six. Is that Mister Bojangles? Has he got a different name? Uh, but Jangles, I've got you on the helmet, so if you're, you're on the real name, though, uh, switch back over to that one. So do it. Keep the Go Blues typing. If you're watching this on Friday morning when we publish it, comment Go Blue. Malachi Coleman, a tw top 100 2023 defensive end who was committed to Nebraska for a while but decommitted to them last week, got a great visit. According to him, as you see on his Twitter account, Shy Coleman, uh, or Chai, I guess Malachi, Malachi, or Kai Coleman, I guess maybe you can pronounce it, uh, 23. Great visit from Jay Harbaugh and Michigan Football Say tweeted it out this afternoon. So what does that one mean, folks? Not really sure. It's not somebody I had, you know, Peg because he's been committed to Nebraska for a while, but decommitted to them. They're going through a coaching change, and Jay Harbaugh going after a potential top 100 commit. So interesting to see uh, what becomes of that one. Signing day is 13 days away, two day, two weeks ago from yesterday on December 31st or 21st. Michigan got a commit today. Four-star tight end Hogan Hansen out of Bellevue, Washington, way up there in the Pacific Northwest, uh, has committed to Michigan. Top 250 player in the 2024 class. Here is the picture that he tweeted out today. It's just him. Uh, it was that number 11 jersey there, Jack? I can't remember. 40, 11. And uh, committed to Michigan, just uh, towering over the big house, an all-maze-out crowd there uh, at, uh, at Michigan Stadium for him. So Hanson Hogan, there is his Twitter account. It's at Hanson underscore. Hogan. That's H A N S E N underscore H O G A N. Go ahead and uh, I'm sorry, I said Hanson Hogan. It's Hogan Hanson. Uh, I'm doing it backwards. He's got his Twitter name uh, backwards. Nevertheless, I apologize. Uh, Hogan Hanson's the name. Hanson underscore Hogan is the Twitter name. That's why I got caught off guard there. A little dyslexia going on for me. But Michigan got a uh, four star 2024 tight end committed today. So uh, go, go show him some love on Twitter at Hanson underscore Hogan. The transfer portal is in day four in this first college football free agency that is now going to go 45 days long. If you haven't followed it, folks, December 5th for 45 days. And then at the end of spring practice, I think it's April something. I haven't checked the exact date for another 45 days. Players have the ability to do all sorts of things. They've got to put the name in the transfer portal at that time. Then they can, you know, talk to other schools. They can talk to coaches. They can listen to NIL pitches all above the board. I think this is a much better solution than what college football has had in the past where guys are just leaving programs in the middle of the year, all this different stuff. Nevertheless, what I've been hearing from a lot of folks in and around college football, some folks that talk to players in the transfer portal, is Michigan has become a major hot program with the top prospects, not necessarily quarterbacks or anything like that, specifically offensive line, defensive line, secondary, and surprisingly, wide receiver. Quite a few high-end wide receivers are interested in looking at Michigan, reaching out to Michigan. And Michigan up there with a few other programs, probably the, the, the ones you're familiar with. LSU has been pretty hot. Uh, Alabama, as always, will be hot. Uh, Ohio State, not as hot as I thought they would be, uh, but Michigan up there in the top three or four most talked about programs, most reached out to programs from the best 
players in the transfer portal. So really good to see. And Michigan is making the transfer portal a priority in a lot of ways is because they're proven players. And Michigan has not uh, uh, had the greatest recruiting class here in 2023. So they're going to fill the gaps they need with the transfer portal. Now, later on in the show, we're going to talk about some of the limitations of that transfer portal. But I'll ask you guys, are you headed to Arizona for the Fiesta Bowl? December 31st, 4 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. local time, Jack, would it be right there? Arizona's two hours behind East Coast now, one hour behind Dallas. So give me a one. If so, give me a yes. Iceman comp from the live chat is going. Um, Matthew Sakuda, Cicada, Sauceda, I'm not sure you pronounce it, Matthew, sorry. Uh, no. Teresa says Natty. That's Jack and I are going to the Natty, okay? Natty, 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 Natty. Um, Tennessee fan Vol Daddy says, pulling hard for the Wolverines. Let's effing go. Uh, Eric, too, he wishes. I feel you there, my man. Um, I'll be on my couch for Matthew. Carl says no. Blake, no. So not a ton of folks. Yes, Huron JM, yes. I'm guessing that means you're one. So appreciate that, Huron. Uh, I think everyone's going to be watching. Matthew John, he's going natty, natty. Huron John does say one, natty, natty. So um, quite a few going. A bunch of you guys not going. Uh, Teresa already has tickets to the natty. Jack and I will be there. Uh, in in uh, live and living color, Michigan playing the winner of uh, as long as they beat TCU, of course. We're not going to expect anything. Winner of Georgia Ohio State in the national championship game in LA SoFi Stadium Monday, January 9th. Give me a one or a zero below. As we mentioned early on, Michigan making a late push for uh, star defensive end Malachi Coleman, four-star athlete, number 85 overall in the 2023 class, according to the 24-7 Sports Composite Rankings. Folks, he is scheduled to be in Ann Arbor next weekend, a week from, uh, from now, uh, the 16th, next Friday, he will be in Ann Arbor. But he, as he decommitted from Nebraska, now he's actually scheduled to be in Nebraska this weekend, going to meet their new coaching staff, Matt Rule, got some assistance in play. So I mentioned his tweet early on, Jay Harbaugh in person with him, and now he has got a Michigan football visit scheduled, but they're going to have to fend off Nebraska, his hometown team, with a new coaching staff. We all know how that goes, new coaching staff. Everyone thinks that you know it's just going to be wins and up to the moon from here. So Michigan's going to have a chance with them. Um, I think they've got a decent chance of landing him, uh, but nothing's uh, certainly you know uh, a certain thing like that. I would probably call it 40% Michigan gets him uh, 50 percent nebraska and 10 percent another school kind of comes in from uh from the top rope and grabs it from there all right folks coming up we have more michigan football recruiting news and rumors but we got to pay the bills here so i want to tell you about our friends over at manscape michigan football report is presented by manscape i want to make sure you guys all see this pride right pull as close to i can the Lawnmower 4.0. I use this thing all the time. It trims right down to the skin. That uh, leaves a little bit of I'm sure you can take it in the shower, etc. If you don't want to, if you want to take it in the shower with you, uh, chargeable. You've got the Manscaped newspaper. Yeah, it says we save balls, which they do. And you take this bad boy, folks. As right, so I can get it open, all right? You put it on the ground. You shave into there. You clean it up really super easy. Also with the uh, Manscaped Ultra Smooth Package. It's part of the package you see on screen, which is the Platinum Package. You get the uh, the Manscaped uh, Shaving Care for it down there. You can go right down to the skin if you want. I know a few ladies that use Manscaped as well, folks. Manscaped makes amazing stocking stuffers. They've got cologne. They have... Uh, shampoo. They have conditioner. They've got the lawnmower 4.0. They've got all kinds of male grooming products. Hell, I use the Manscaped lip balm as well. 20% off and free shipping on any of their products. They make great stocking stuffers. You need to give. I'm actually Jack. You won't know this. Believe this, but I'm going to a party on my street next week. Everyone's got to give a $20 gift, right, for uh, for a white elephant party. I'm giving them some Manscaped, right? I'm giving mine is some Manscaped. I'm gonna go way over the 20 bucks because I'm putting together a nice little package for them. But go to Manscaped.com. Use promo code Go blue get yourself a great stocking stuffer for somebody in your life or hell even yourself this holiday season manscape.com promo code is go blue michigan's top remaining committed recruit in the 2023 class is he wavering eno etta right out of uh, the state of texas near where i am here at the michigan football report in dallas eno etta is potentially wavering away from jim harbaugh's program been committed since July over Alabama, Michigan State, Stanford. High-level uh, high education kind of kid, but lately Miami, 
Josh Gaddis, that scumbag, and LSU have been trending heavy towards him, contacting a bunch, uh, putting the pressure on him to flip his commit with name, image, and likeness deals. And um, his friend there, Collins, whatever how you pronounce his name, he's going to Miami. He flipped from Michigan last week. Um, I've seen a funny comment here in the live chat. I'll talk about here in a second about Manscaped. But uh, his buddy there, Collins A, we'll call him, who flipped from Michigan last week, is trying to get him to come to Miami. They're showing him the bag, NIL deal, better than what Michigan's offering. So he put out a quote today to uh, one of the recruiting blog boys, said he's locked in for Michigan, but Miami, LSU still coming after him. Folks, he's Michigan's highest rated recruit. They already lost his buddy, Collins A. And if Michigan loses their top two recruits in this class coming on the stretch last three weeks, that's a big time blow. Not something you want to see in a class that's ranked number 20 right now in the 24-7 sports composite. Not a good sign. Hopefully Michigan can hold on to him. Um, we'll see where things go from here as we have now 13 days left until Michigan football signs their early 2023 class on December 21st. Ask you guys this question. How concerned are you with recruiting on a scale from 1 to 10? Go ahead and comment uh, below or in the YouTube live chat, how concerned are you with Michigan football recruiting in particular, let's say, on a scale of 1 to 10? 1 being not very much, 10 being, yeah, I'm pretty dang concerned. Let me know, 10 from Mr. Bajang, 86, 6 from Ramon, Rico says 10, 7 from Jacob, D original 7, Iceman comp 7, JC with a 4. Uh, T -Y, Ty 5 says, what's up with our dang recruiting? It's starting to get ridiculous. Zach says 6, Justin 7. So pretty much 6, 7, 8, 9. No one's really a 1. Phil Johnson says 4, but for the most part, Florida Knox says 4 as well. It's all 6s and up. I'm going to go with a 6, I'm going to go with a 7. 7 on the dot, 7.1. Is my vote, Jack? What's your, what's your vote? What's your vote? Seven point five for Jack. Let me know what you guys think as well. Is name, image, likeness, and the transfer portal is it hurting Michigan? Not just from a recruiting perspective, but transfer portal in, transfer portal out. We've seen Eric All. We've seen Cade McNamara um, already leave Michigan this year. Now Michigan did pretty good last year, right? They got Olu Oluwatimi. Um, you know they've got uh, quite a few players there, but. Um, I think there's some things that Michigan needs to change if they are going to be a dominant program long term. So let's put together two different buckets right here that Michigan, if done right, can put them keep themselves you know at the top of college football where they are right now. From a name, image, and likeness perspective, and transfer portal, Michigan needs an impactful NIL strategy. From what we can tell right now, from everybody who has any inside knowledge, the people on the collectives, etc. Michigan is not really promising much of anything. There's a bit of thousand dollars, two thousand dollars here from these collectives, but there's no stra strategy, strategy, as George W. Bush once said, strategy from the top down, from Ward Manual or any of the top boosters. What I think Michigan needs is a lead alumni super booster who can put together tons of money. Right? Schools like Ohio State now, right? They're already guaranteeing ten and fifteen and twenty thousand dollars to incoming recruits, guaranteed per year. No matter what happens to you, and then if you're a star, you can get that car dealership deal. You can get that Nissan deal, whatever it is, um, from there. But just telling a guy, hey, you're going to have an extra 20 grand just per year when you come here, that's something that Michigan right now does not have. Also, looser admission standards. Michigan struggles. They can bring in freshmen. They can bring in grad transfers. Anything in between, very challenging for Michigan to bring in. Why? is because the rules that Michigan, if you want to graduate, you've got to have more than half your credits from the University of Michigan. So sometimes, a guy like Shea Patterson, he had to give up like three semesters of credits because they wouldn't transfer to Michigan because he had too many credits to transfer and still be considered an undergrad grad transfer with an opportunity to uh, to graduate from Michigan. From a compensation and staff perspective, new Harbaugh, new contract with Jim Harbaugh, long-term deal, up with what Nick Saban and others have. Uh, let's kill the NFL speculation, which is back once and for all. A general manager of the program, which I'll talk about a little more throughout the rest of the live show, and double the scouting staff. You think about it right now. Michigan needs to scout 2023, 2024, 25 recruits, right? That's one job. That's like three jobs, right? They've got to scout the transfer portal. Players all over the country. They've got to scout their own players to see who they want to keep and not let go, etc. Um, and I think they're really struggling that they're trying to put all those jobs on like two or three guys right now. So that is what I think Jim Harbaugh needs to consistently be in the top five of college football. Like he's had Michigan over the last two seasons. All right, folks coming up. What will Michigan football look like in the new era of college football? We will tell you all about that here in a moment. I want to kind of go through a few things here. on My thoughts on name 
image and likeness. Uh, so let's keep it rolling here. But before we do, I want to make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. We've got 24,000. 179 subscribers here on the Michigan Football Report. If you're watching live, just click that button right below the video that says subscribe. You will get videos every single day during the Michigan football season right up until February signing day. We'll do a video every single day. After that, three, four times a week until August, we ramp it back up to every single day. And now we're going to have live shows every Thursday going forward until the February signing day. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's the Michigan Football Report by Chat Sports or send that link to a friend. Do me a solid youtube.com slash michigan tv michigan has thrived in the name image and likeness era very surprising right the name image and likeness era the transfer portal era all started july 1st of 2021 what's happened since then michigan has gone 25 and 2 the best two-year stretch in a modern era of this program but i think that speaks more to Jim Harbaugh putting together a great coaching staff leading into 2021 and already having the cornerstones of this team and for the near future as well. Diamond Edwards, J.J. McCarthy, you know, they were already committed. They were already on campus in summer of 2021. Had that not been the case, I'd be more concerned about the next two years or so of this program. But what Michigan needs in the future, folks, is uh, you know, to stay relevant in the next two, three years. One by one is the transfer portal rules, the transfer rules at Michigan. As I mentioned, they put this school, this university, at a terrible disadvantage from, uh, you know, compared to Ohio State, compared to Michigan State, really compared to anybody, because the rules as they stand now is if you want to graduate, which surprisingly, a lot of these players actually do want to get that degree, is if a guy's a junior or a sophomore, he might have to give up as many as four semesters, three semesters of his coursework at his prior school and be like a second semester freshman again if he wants to transfer to Michigan. Let's just say a third or fourth year player. So as I mentioned, Michigan's got to change that up. I think they need to uh, put in a special rule for athletes only, but it could be for all, uh, you know, all uh, students of, across the board. So I'll ask you guys this question. Who should Michigan loosen the transfer requirements for? If you think it's for athletes and only athletes, give me a A in the comments and live chat. If you think it should be for all students, regular students and athletes, you should be able to transfer after two and a half years, three years, be able to get a degree at Michigan. Go ahead and type S. If it's neither, Michigan should stick to how things are going. If it's neither, go ahead and give me an N, A, S, or N, athletes, all students, or neither. Let me know A, S, or N.